Let's take a look at an analog uh, power factor meter. Now, this one here is supposed to give you the cosine of the phase angle of the current. That's what this symbol here is. And to uh, connect it up, here's a diagram here where your, your line in goes to IA, comes out on IB, and this is going to be uh, your current here. And then your neutral ties to C, and we're picking up our voltage on, on B here off of the, off of the output. So I'm going to take it apart and uh, see how it actually works. But uh, before we do that, we're going to, we'll try it. So I'm going to put it, uh, try it with a uh, fluorescent light. Now it's got a ballast in there and the, uh, the current should be lagging. It should be uh, an induc uh, inductor and we'll see what happens. So oh, there you go there. So that direction should be, the current should be lagging. And then uh, I'm going to try it with a motor. We know this is an inductor in here. So we'll see if that happens. What happened? There we go. Turn that on. All right. A little bit less. That's good. And now I'm going to plug in a, a capacitor. Now the capacitor, it should go the other direction, which it doesn't do. So oh, yeah. when we take this thing apart, we'll see why... Uh, there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the turn on the, the fluorescent light, and I'm going to put, put the capacitor across there, see if it actually brings the uh, the power factor down, which it does. Okay. So it doesn't seem like anything's happening on the bottom side of the scale, but we're going to take it apart and uh, and see what happens see why this what's making this thing tick all right thank you all right i took the uh the meter apart here it is here not much to it there now on a traditional uh, analog meter you'll have your uh, these two uh, coils here and uh, it's set up like a motor so and inside here that's on the armature here there's two coils here that are 90 degrees apart and the needles connected to those now one coil is fed with uh, with an inductor and the other is fed with a, a resistor and this duct inductor at say at 60 hertz has the same impedance as this resistor here and so if the current and the the voltage are in phase with each other then uh, the needle the needle is going to stay in the center and these two uh, coils balance out now if the current going through these is out of phase with these then the needle is going to re deflect in this direction or this direction depending on whether it's a capacitive or inductive load on there of course these meters are, are expensive there's uh, you know a lot of mechanical uh, parts in there to to put together and so uh, these can be up to a thousand dollars of course this one here I paid six dollars for it so I didn't expect that but now when we saw this one only only goes in this direction here uh, whether it's an inductive load or a capacitive load it's 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 just one direction now here's the diagram right here and so the reason it, it only goes in one way is because of this thing's not a really a uh, a power factor meter but it's a it's a uh, a phase de uh, detector okay so this is more of a phase detector uh, circuit and what it does is it just uh, takes the two uh, the current this your current comes in here here's the line in your load right here and then on this one here this is your load down here and your neutral here so between this point and this point you have 120 volts ac and from this point here to the neutral is 120 volts ac and of course from this point here down to the neutral is 120 volts ac these two diodes are just they're zener diodes for transient suppression here and then uh, we have uh, a, a pot. Oh, the, the the negative side of the uh, meter here comes off the neutral, goes through some uh, resistance, and back up to the uh, to the negative side of the coil here. And there's a uh, electrolytic capacitor across that uh, across that coil here. Negative side on this side and positive over here. Then what this thing does is it. Uh, it converts this phase shift into a proportional DC uh, voltage, okay? So if the two sine waves are, are in phase, they say there's a constructive interference, and if the two sine waves are out of phase, there's a destructive interference. 
and for waves in between, the waves add in some locations and sub subtract in others. So basically, they're just mixing these two signals together, whether if they're out of phase with each other, and uh, putting the voltage out to the uh, to the meter here. If they're both in phase with each other, they'll cancel out completely, cancel out, and you won't get any voltage on the uh, on the meter out here. So what happens here is we come up through uh, through this diode here and into the uh, collector of the transistor here and then it goes through the transistor when it turns on and out to the meter and it mixes with the the this this one here is your current and it mixes with this uh, current coming down here and it'll either add or subtract and the difference between the uh, the phases is the only thing going to get through here and uh, now this diode here it's across the coil here and normally I've never seen one done like this before and uh, the only way I've seen it is as a diode uh, clamper and in that case you'd put the the capacitor in series with it so unless I messed up and didn't get the capacitor right spot but it looks like the capacitor is across the coil and the diodes across the coil too if they were in series I would say it was a diode clamper and that would that does is it, it shifts the waves uh, you know above the center line but uh, at any rate that's uh, that's basically all it does it, we're just mixing the two signals together and uh, anything that's uh, when the phases are in phase with each other they'll, they'll cancel out and whatever's left over will come out to the meter here now I put it on the scope I put the uh, this is the DC output it was negative here but it's it puts out a nice uh, DC voltage. I've got that's a uh, 47 microfarad uh, capacitor on the output, and uh, and then if there's if it's on and the uh, the load is uh, in phase, it's just a resistive load on there. Then the, the two uh, signals are pretty much lined up together, and uh, we'll just cancel out. But if under a, an inductive load or a capacitive load, then we do get some uh, phase shift here. This has shifted over a little bit. And so we get the difference between these two uh, phases here. And that's the, uh, that's the voltage we get out on the, uh, on the meter there. But the meter is only going to uh, go in one direction, not both. So this isn't really a, um, you know, I wouldn't call it power factor meter. It's more of a phase detector. And, uh, you know, it, it'll detect the, uh, the difference in, uh, in phases there, which is, which is fine but uh you know it's kind of useless this side's kind of useless here but uh but anyway it was six dollars and uh, you know these are uh could be up to a thousand dollars but that's all that's inside of there this is your uh, current running through this little coil here producing a voltage and then your other voltage just comes in down here and they just compare the two sine waves and um, they they mix them together and that's what you get so uh, that's your uh, your analog uh, power factor meter, and uh, that's it. Thank you.